Hi there! Micro slippage has been an increasing problem in highlining in the last couple of years. A long time ago, people used to rig highlines under high tension, and there, slippage was absolutely no problem. But since the days that people started rigging the, the lines only under hand tension, slippage has become an increasing problem. So we wanted to compare a few things that influence the micro slippage. First thing we're gonna test is how much the geometry of the web lock has an influence. Here we have a web lock that has several possibilities to adjust the geometry. In the first test we use the geometry where this webbing is touching this webbing. Now to make it easier to, to do the test, instead of rigging a high line and really making leash falls, we just hammer with our hands onto the line and this already produces a lot of micro slippage. Looks a bit stupid when I'm doing it, but it's the easiest way to test it. So I'm gonna hit like 30 times onto the line and see how much the webbing has slipped. We're gonna repeat this test three times to have comparable values. All right, we can see that the webbing has slipped about 2.7 centimeters and we're gonna compare it with a different alignment now. So now we use an alignment where there is a gap of two centimeters between the two webbings here. So apparently I'm really precise with hitting because in all six tests so far there was a value coming out between 2.5 and 2.7 centimeters. So in this test we really want to compare two different webbings. One with a really fine weaving structure that feels much nicer under the foot but maybe has a disadvantage in micro slippage and one with a rather normal weaving structure. Both webbings are made of polyester. So with the second webbing we had slip pitch between 14 and 17 millimeters, so clearly less than on the first test. In the last test we put some spacers to make the web lock more narrow and it was almost impossible to pre-tension and again after 30 times hitting on the line the webbing slipped about two centimeters this time. It can be said after this test that the geometry of the weblock is not really decisive, but the structure of the webbing is a really important factor. But we need many more tests to, to really be able to say more about it and we're gonna do more of these tests. That was just a first of many tests that we, we wanna do in this direction.